Good day and welcome to Behind the Blade, a webinar presented by Michaels Media and Sims Blades. Today's webinar presentation will include tips on picking the right blade for the job. My name is Brian Michaels, producer, publicist, and owner of Michaels Media, a multimedia production, artist management, and public relations firm based in Dallas, Texas. My years in the entertainment industry and working in public relations and event management has led me to work with custom knife maker Greg Sims of Sims Blades. Mr. Sims is a custom bladesmith with over 20 years prior experience as a chef in several of the finest restaurants in Texas. As a chef, Sims knows and understands the importance of having the best knives in the kitchen. The knife is the most important tool a chef will use daily. His overall experience in the kitchen has led him to craft the knives that will ultimately lead the chef to work smarter and not harder. Greg Sims will set in today to explain his concepts and ideas behind his blades at Sims Blades. And thank you, Mr. Sims, for being here today and talking about what inevitably is an easy topic for you to discuss as it brings together your two biggest passions, cooking and knife making. So tell us, Greg, about your past in the kitchen and tell us what led you to move over to knife making as your full-time second career choice. Hey, Brian, and thanks for having me. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, um, I've been in the restaurant industry for about 27 years, uh, and I... I've always had an interest in knives, and knives are really one of the most important things in the restaurant industry as a chef. It's the most important thing you can have. I've always had an interest in knives, you know, as far back as my childhood, and I first got into knife making. Uh, it was really out of necessity. You know, if I needed a knife in the kitchen, a certain one, you know, I, I just decided one day I, I would make it, you know, and that just kind of led me off into this path, which eventually it really kind of took a more of a driver's seat, you know, in my life than, than, you know, something that was a hobby. So, you know, that's, that's where we are now. So your knives are making serious strides and becoming widely used in kitchens across Texas. When it comes to selecting a blade to use in a kitchen setting, whether it's professional or more intimate personal settings, what are your thoughts as far as sharp edges, balanced blades, well-designed handles? Well, the, the knife really overall has to have a comfortable feel. That's where, you know, it fits in your hand really well. It needs to have a good balance to it and feel really, really comfortable. All knives are pretty much balanced. You just have to find that right pivot point, that balance point, and that's where you choke up on it. It's really important to have a good sharp knife. You don't want to have to go out of your comfort zone to try to cut the vegetables or whatever you may be chopping, you know, with a dull knife. And that's what you have to do. Now, it's often been said that a dull knife is a dangerous knife. Explain this idea and how you've applied this idea to the knives that you now create at Sims Blades. Well, it's kind of like I said before, if you if you have a knife that's dull, like if you have a tomato you're sitting on your cutting board and you have a nice sharp knife, it's as simple as laying that blade on the tomato and pushing forward. That's your natural momentum. But if you have a knife that's dull, then you have to go out of your out of your natural motion to try to carve through that knife and maybe make two or three, four, you know, attempts to get through it. And that's that's where you put yourself in the danger zone because you're taking yourself out of your natural comfort zone. Uh, yeah, that's it, it happens. It happens all the time in the industry. I, I'm a, a victim of that as well. Now, you just talked about the video that uh, you actually featured most recently as far as your video series and your ideas, your concepts with Sims Blades and the actual video of slicing a tomato that we've actually showed here today. And it's using no hands. Now, this was not a stunt, no camera trickery going on. This was actually a custom piece that was made by you and Sims Blades slicing through the tomato. Now, let's talk about the sharpening process because as we've talked in working on many numerous projects, we've talked about the sharpening process and many people don't understand what actually goes into a detailed sharpening when it comes to their blades after quite some time. Yeah, keeping your knives sharp is a really, really, really important part of the process in the kitchen as well as outside of the kitchen. But too often, in the restaurant industry, you know, you have people that come in and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they have a sharpening service and they'll come in and round everybody's knives up and basically they'll take them out to their van where they have a grinder set up and they'll just grind away at it. And, with, you know, th these guys can get really, really good sharp knives, but the problem is that they grind away and they actually warp the blade geometry. And that's really important in the industry because your blade's got to sit on the board just right. You know, it can't have... A gap in it so when you lay it down the heels touching but and midway through the blade is touching but you could see light underneath between because you know you're taking the natural geometry of the blade and warping it out out of place that's 
definitely a no-go. What I offer with my services is, you know, to either bring back the blade geometry or maintain the integrity of the blade by keeping that geometry intact while I do my sharpening. Now, one quick question just to touch upon that. If someone has had their knives maybe not necessarily damaged, but that geometry wasn't taken into consideration, is that something that your services will actually fix and get it back to that integrity of the blade? Yes, indeed. I, I've, I've had several people bring me knives. That very problem that I mentioned before, you know, had occurred and somebody had ground it too much. I can bring your uh, blade geometry back into alignment and you know, a broken tip, uh, any kind of chips in the blade, I can, I'll work all that out. So a tool being utilized in the kitchen should be a blade that is easily used for the chef or any culinary connoisseur, anybody, personal, industry, whatever. What is the biggest difference maybe in a balanced blade and an unbalanced blade? And I know you briefly discussed this uh, just a moment ago, but explain exactly what is a balanced blade in a knife. Well, like I said before, there the most all knives are balanced. It's just a matter of trying to find that balance point. You know, if you hold it up on your finger and where it balances, that's your balancing point. And that's where you want to that grip up to. You know, you want to you want to choke up on the blade up to that point and that will give you, you know, the correct balancing point for you to work the knife. Do you find that that's something that they're actually teaching in culinary institutes and culinary trades these days? Or do you find that that's something that you're having to actually go back and remind the chefs that you're working with as far as their blades are concerned? I think it's really a, just a matter of uh, figuring that out on your own. It's just something that you, that you, you know, come to, come to grips with uh, in the field. Now let's talk about handles, Greg, and the handles that you being created by Sims Blades are not only beautiful, but all custom made pieces. These are not handles that you buy. These are all raw materials. And the handles go back for a very important element in knife making, which is comfort and ease in the handle. Is there a method to the madness, so to speak, in your custom made handles? And what should those interested or invested in the culinary arts actually look for in a handle? Well, like I said before, it's uh, it's really all about comfort. And whenever I design my blades, I actually put those in my hand. I will actually take them in the kitchen and, and use them uh, to test the blades out. And that's the first thing that I that I look for. I mean, of course, you want a good sharp blade. You want your your you know it to feel comfortable in your hand. You know, as a whole, the handle is the most important part in my opinion, because that's what that's where you're, you're gripping it. That's where you get the feel of the knife is in the handle the most. Now, just as with any tool, it breaks down to a very important decision, and the choice is ultimately up to the chef or to the culinary connoisseur. But however, more and more executive chefs like Graham Dodds from Wayward Sons here in Dallas, Chris Braden from Mazzoli's, Italian restaurant in Steamboat, Colorado, or even Kenny Winchester in the Green Tree Country Club in Midland, Texas, have chosen Sims Blades to design their use in the daily kitchen. As you choose your next blade, here are a few of the Sims Blades' finest selections when it comes to kitchen cutlery. The Kitchen Toolbox, every knife you will ever need in the kitchen. Now, Mr. Sims, what all is included in the Kitchen Toolbox? Okay, the Kitchen Toolbox... Uh, comes with an 8-inch Kiritsuki chef knife, uh, a 7-inch Nakiri cleaver, vegetable cleaver, which in my opinion is just an all-around workhorse in the kitchen. You can use it. It's very versatile. Uh, it comes with an 8-inch slicer, 6.5-inch fillet knife, and a 3.5-inch paring knife. It comes also with a uh, custom-made wood block to fit all the knives in. That's right. And all your customers, of course, we, we talk about this numerous times in this particular webinar, but we talk about custom, custom, custom. We've seen knife blocks made for the Brian's family. We've seen other knife blocks made. So every piece that comes out of Sims Blades is all custom made stuff. Yes, indeed. Uh, everything is handcrafted here in the shop from the drawing board to the final product. The only knife you'll ever need. That's quote unquote. This is a statement that was made when you and Sims Blades launched the executive chef knife. This is an eight inch chef knife. And the one pictured was actually a custom piece for the chef that we mentioned earlier in the program from Colorado. Now, what are the specifics for the actual chef knife and why is this quote unquote, the only knife you'll ever need. Well, really, that means the only chef knife that you'll ever need. You'll, of course, there's going to be specialty tools for every occasion, such as a fillet knife or a paring knife. But this is the only chef knife. This is the last one you'll have to buy. I, I will guarantee it and I will work on it 
maintain it, replace it if I have to. A little Shakespeare humor or a parody, if you will, to slice or not to slice. But in all seriousness, the Sims Blades fillet knife is an absolute must have in the kitchen. What is it about the fillet knife that makes it that must have in the kitchen? Well, it's a it, it's a really thin blade and a flexible blade and has a, it's got a really narrow uh, tip. It's very, very sharp and pointed. It's good for uh, filleting fish, of course, but you can use it to uh, clean lamb racks or, you know, just, it, it's a very, very versatile knife and it is a must have. I, I get a lot of orders just for that one knife alone. Now, the difference with Sims Blades is you've been there, you've done that. You're taking on the role as a knife maker from the executive chef position that you, you've done for many years. You've been there, you've done that. Every knife that comes from the office of Sims Blades is a custom knife made from raw materials and you think about what these chefs are going to be using these knives for in the kitchen. So what actually goes into the crafting process of a knife from Sims Blades? Just give us a brief rundown from start to finish. It starts with a drawing board. I have designed the knives that, that I use, especially you know for, for the kitchen. I've got them laid out to where all I have to do is buy the materials and I, you know, I can grab my templates here and throw them down. And what happens is I'll buy the raw materials and we'll lay my templates out, trace them out, cut them out with the grinder, and then it's on to, you know, heat treat, uh, and, then, and then hours of grinding on them, getting them down to the right, you know, just the right dimensions, adding the handles on and polish, buff, etch, and out the door. There's nothing about these knives that comes from a box from anywhere else. This is all the most raw materials you can get out there. And of course, it's all handcrafted right in the office and the workshop of Sims Blades. There's a world of knives available today, but one company is making innovative leaps in supplying executive chefs and those in the culinary arts, whether professional, industry, or even personal kitchens, the finest pieces of cutlery available. Mr. Sims is also taking the initiative to craft tools that will be used every day in kitchens across texas the united states and the world so the choice is yours but when it comes to fine cutlery for professional and personal kitchens choose sims blades now you can find out more information and a gallery of custom knives and more information by visiting www.simsblades.com but also lots of places out there for social media and uh videos and things like that as well so tell us about those greg we also have facebook slash sims blades uh twitter and instagram are on there as well Come see us. Let us hook you up with a knife. And of course, you can also find all those links, just like we mentioned again, www.simsblades.com. I'm Brian Michaels from Michaels Media. Thanks again to Mr. Greg Sims for taking time to go behind the blade and be sure to check out again Sims Blades.